If you have been following this daily vlog series, you probably realize that the fact that I am alone in Amsterdam is not good news. If you are new to this channel, maybe I should give a little bit of background. The reason why we are doing daily vlogs instead of travel videos is because we are in Belgium and we gotta stay in Belgium for a while because Linz's dad is very sick. The last couple of weeks have been with lots of ups and downs and last week we actually got pretty good news and then we got an invitation to come to Amsterdam for a press congress. So we figured that this was a great opportunity to do something different, to travel a little bit. So we agreed to this uh, invitation and yesterday we actually we packed our bags, we were ready to leave and then a phone call came from the hospital. Linz's dad is, doing, is not doing well at all. So we decided that I would come to Amsterdam and that she would stay at home. And because I took all the cameras here, it's gonna be a little bit the next show the next couple of days. Well, it's gonna be you and me in Amsterdam. And of course, Linz has given me some fashion instructions. For example, this shirt I need for the conference tomorrow. So I shouldn't be wearing this today. I just had to wear it on the train because it wrinkles in my backpack. So I'm gonna change clothes and let's go explore Amsterdam. The houseboats are something very typical of Amsterdam. You can find them on all the canals, I think. But some of them, they don't really look like a boat anymore. They're basically floating houses. When we were looking for a hotel here in the city, we also found a houseboat hotel. And we were kind of wanting to book it, but the problem was that they only had rooms with bunk beds. And we figured that for ones that we would be traveling in this period, we didn't really want to sleep in a bunk bed. So we booked another hotel instead. And it's a good hotel, but it's so expensive. But yeah, everything in Amsterdam is expensive. It's crazy. Even the cheapest, crappiest hotels that have a five or six star rating on booking, they still go, they started at least 130, 140 euros a night. It's one of the most expensive cities I've been to in a long time. But yeah, Amsterdam is more than just a city. It's pretty much an experience. And I gotta be honest with you, I've been here a couple of times in the city and it's been a while, so I don't remember that much of the highlights. So for today, I think, We'll just be the tourist and search for the tourist stuff. This is the place where I was hoping to have lunch today, but unfortunately it's closed. It's a place where they sell herring, raw herring. This is, it doesn't get more typical Amsterdam than this, but I guess it will be for another day. The area behind me is the port of Amsterdam. And you got to imagine that only a couple of centuries ago this place was totally privately owned by the Dutch East India Company and totally used to import stuff from India. But now it has changed. It looks very modern. It, there's a lot of buildings, a lot of living boats. I don't think that the port is still that much important. So especially not if you compare with the ports of Rotterdam or of Antwerp. But it looks, it looks nice actually. I gotta say that being here without Linz also makes the whole vlogging experience different. Because there's nobody now to share thoughts with, to shoot from different angles, or even to hold the camera when I'm tying my shoes. So it could be that this vlog and the next vlogs will be a bit more rough. Just think of it as a, as a different style. We arrived at the Amsterdam of the magazines with all the canals and the houseboats and the cozy bridges. There's bicycles everywhere. There are these typical houses from Amsterdam with the big windows and the typical rooftops. And it seems like some of these houses don't really stand very straight. Probably that's also part of the style. Over there are more houseboats that don't really look like a boat anymore. Maybe a positive thing about vlogging alone is that now you won't have uh, the voice of Linz in the background saying, Nick is pointing out the things again. A 
if there's one thing that you really want to do in Amsterdam, it's drink a good Dutch beer. <laughs> I'm kidding. There is no good Dutch beer. Luckily, most places also sell Belgian beers. Another thing for which Amsterdam is famous is its flowers and more specifically its tulips. They are the symbol of the Netherlands next to cheese and wooden shoes basically. And here in Amsterdam a very popular tourist place is the flower market. I could probably take a million of these canal shots and I probably will but just because to me this is Amsterdam when people talk about Amsterdam this is the image that gets in my head it's just the boats and the rivers the canals with the bridges and all the bicycles This place is the museum square. It is home to the Rijksmuseum, to the Van Gogh Museum, to probably some other museums that I don't really know about. But of course, since my time is limited, I don't really have the time to show you all these museums. But I actually came all this way for something very specific. I just haven't found it yet. I actually wanted to take a picture with the I Amsterdam sign because I thought that would, it would be a great thumbnail and I was pretty convinced that the sign was here on the museum square but apparently it's not so I googled it and they have removed it back in 2018 and now it's at the airport which is a little bit far to travel just to get a thumbnail so I guess we will have to get a thumbnail at one of the canals instead it's getting a little bit late so let's get back into town because there are a couple of more things that I would like to show you in Amsterdam. This is why Amsterdam is famous too. Coffee shops. And they're not places where you can just drink a coffee. The Netherlands were actually one of the first countries that legalized marijuana and the coffee shops are actually the places where you can buy this marijuana and i have a fun fact for you the reason why these places are called coffee shops is because before the legalization or before marijuana was tolerated in the netherlands marijuana was actually so sold 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 in coffee shops how about that Probably the most famous or infamous part of Amsterdam is the red light district. It's completely different than red light districts in other cities because this one is actually very popular and famous among tourists and it's full of people. But I'm not really gonna film here because for one, all the skin in the windows might be not good for YouTube policy and also because I'm a little bit afraid to get punched in the face. Well, this was uh, interesting. And now I think we've seen most of what Amsterdam has to offer. We've seen the canals, we've seen the bikes, we've seen the museum square, and I've seen the red light district. So I think I'll leave it for here. This was Amsterdam in a very small nutshell. But first, and how are we gonna handle this? No, that's not gonna work. I need a second person for the bending thing. Not really to film, but mostly to do the bending. Anyway, see you tomorrow.